This is Ask Doc Live, and my name is Rebecca Kozak. I will be your host for the next two hours with our amazing Dr. Wallach. Now, the content of this program is to provide educational information only. It is not intended to take the place of your primary care physician, okay? And we are gonna be going over the importance of nutrition and supplementation in a world where the food supply is just empty and void of the nutrients that our body was designed from. We can survive, we can do more than just survive folks, we can thrive. And this program, we will be sharing those nutritional options that are available through supplementation in a form that the body can readily utilize and absorb. This program is brought to you by Astoc Live, and we have a website. So everything that you hear about on this program, you will be able to find at astoclive.com. We have a store there. We have a contact us. So if you have questions in regards to what you should be taking individually, you can use the contact us. And we have certified holistic health coaches there who will be able to answer your questions and make sure that you get started on the right track to optimal health. You know, diseases are classified too often as being genetic. And there's a science called epigenetics. I love epigenetics. If it wasn't for epigenetics, I would have been completely hopeless because epigenetics have proven that you are empowered to have more control over your health and your health journey. And we invite you to feel the difference with the options shared on this program. And speaking of epigenetics, we are honored to have one of the founding fathers of epigenetics here to guide us on the journey to obtain or maintain optimal health, Dr. Joel Wallach. Dr. Wallach, welcome to Ask Doc Live. Well, thank you so much, Rebecca. Thank you for your entire team this early in the morning. Uh, very, very proud of you guys. You've been so, what should I say, dependable in making this happen. And our goal here is to maximize people's health and maximize their life, as you've said, their lifespan. Um, two things. I'm going to give you a couple of quick statistics here, which is, are good. Um, the number of infections in all the world from the COVID are going down, you know, number of infections per day, and the number of deaths all over the world per day are going down. Uh, at the peak of the COVID thing here in the United States, uh, people were dying uh, at a rate of 5,000 a day in the United States. And the number of people getting infected were 75,000 to 150,000 a day. Um, and uh, right now, the number of deaths are below 1,000. It's like 600, something like that. It's much better than 5,000. Um, and the number of infections um, are like 8,000 rather than 100,000. Okay, so it's very, very good. Uh, we're at 34 million, 276,459 infections. Um, we did go up about 500 last night in deaths, uh, 614,038 deaths. Now, India, uh, which is a big concern because of its history with the um, uh, Spanish flu, you know, in 1918, 1919, they had 20 million people die in six months from the Spanish flu. They had 110 million people get infected in that same six months from the Spanish flu. We had 657,000 die we're not too far away from that now, it's 614,000. Um, then uh, today, uh, India is at uh, 29,274,823 infections and 60, excuse me, 363,079 dead. Now, this is actually good because up until just a few weeks ago, they were going up in infections at a rate of 350,000 to 500,000 a day. So every two to three days, they're going up another million infections right now. Uh, they're running at about 100,000 new infections a day. So it's taking 10 days to get up another million instead of three days. So that's an improvement. Okay, so things are moving in the right direction. I just remember the plagues have been around since the beginning of time. You know, remember when um, Moses and the good Lord put those pandemics and 
and plagues on the Egyptians every year for eight years, okay? And ever since then, we've had all these different plagues and pandemics, uh, they keep coming. And even though they disappear in two or three years or four years, whatever it is, uh, in three months, six months, five years, they come back again, either they or a different one. Smallpox was around for thousands of years until um, 1797, when Edward Jenner, this um, uh, country doctor from England, invented vaccination and he vaccinated people and uh, ended the, the 20 or thousand year plague of, of um, smallpox. And then the next one was a really a crazy thing going on in Russia where they had a big, huge pandemic of rabies and a, a guy by the name of um, uh, Louis Pasteur, a French uh, microbiologist came up with a vaccination using Edward Jenner's concept to come up with a rabies vaccine, which I had when every year when I was in the military. Okay, being a veterinarian, <laughs> I got the rabies vaccine along with all the other vaccines everybody else got. And then, um, in 1958, we had a plague. Now there had been small plagues, you know, Asian flu and that kind of stuff, and HIV and, and so forth. But but the big one in early um, 1900s was polio. Okay, and Jonas Salk came out and came up with a vaccine for that. But then the plagues keep coming: H1N1, SARS, MERS, COVID-2, COVID-19. So you can expect whether it's next week or two months from now, three months from now, six months from now, a year from now, two years from now, there's another pandemic going to come. Okay, so I hope everybody's learned their lesson. There's two things you need to do to flourish and survive, your family and loved ones, your church mates and synagogue mates and, and so forth. Everybody's got to do the same thing. Get rid of the bad foods, so maximize absorption. Okay, uh, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, brown, rye, and oats, no sugar, uh, no carbonated drinks, even the diet ones. And then make sure you're getting the 90 cents of nutrients. You must supplement. Just eating well isn't good enough. You wouldn't put just dirt from Texas in your car and hope there's oil in it. You put oil in your car. Okay, got to do the same thing for yourself. And then uh, fried foods, there was a big study. I think I told you about this last week. Maybe, maybe not. Um, there was a study done in Italy on 4,000 people for eight years. And, you know, they would check them constantly for that eight years. And what they found was, um, I think 800 died um in that um, eight years okay of the 800 who died out of the 4440 um in italy the ones who every year when they would look at the numbers the ones who ate french fries hash browns and fried potato chips had a 50 percent higher risk of dying than the ones who didn't eat those things so you've heard me say no fried foods forever and that's because i was seeing the same thing when i was doing autopsies back in the 1960s uh and that's one of the reasons why my stuff is in the Smithsonian Institute. Then we're going to look at longevity. Okay. Uh, I think I've said this before, but it's worth two or three minutes here again and again and again and again. Um, our government came out a couple of weeks ago with the fact that the um, human uh, life expectancy is 155 years of age. Well, right now, the human uh, life expectancy in America is 79. So you subtract 79 from 155. Because people aren't doing the complete picture and taking the 90th century nutrients, avoiding the bad stuff, they're giving up 76 years of life with their kids and loved ones, okay? They're giving up 76 years by not doing everything right. Let's look at doctors. Uh, this came out almost a year ago now. Uh, our CDC came out and said that um, uh, emergency room doctors, average lifespan is 57, 57. So they're giving up 98 years. Why would you listen to anything a doctor had to say about longevity? Now, if you're run over by a truck and you're bleeding internally, you need to go to the emergency room and get cut open and, and stop the bleeding. Okay. But when it comes to longevity, doctors know nothing about that because their whole goal is to manage a disease and treat you like a dairy cow. Okay. Even when they get enough people vaccinated and, um, you know, so the number of cases are dropping like they are now because the number of vaccinations have gone up. Okay. They call it herd immunity, like a dairy herd, herd immunity, like a dairy herd. And so they call you in every month. Oh, we got this new drug. Come on in. We'll give you your first dough for free. OK, and then they milk you like a dairy cow for the next 20 years, managing your disease, not getting rid of it. OK, and so that's why we have uh, the book. Let's play doctor it goes into 300 different diseases. And when you take let's play doctor, let's play herbal doctor. Um, passport aromatherapy, and it's all in your head. We go into 600 different diseases, 
that you can prevent and get rid of, you can do that yourself. It only costs you a buck fifty yourself to see if you have diabetes or not. You go to the pharmacy without a prescription, buy a little bottle of three or five or eight or ten of these test strips. You can do the blood thing or the urine thing to see if you have diabetes. It costs you a buck fifty. You don't have to pay a hundred bucks for an office call, two hundred bucks for the for the um, um, laboratory work, and you're not risking sitting in the waiting room with a bunch of people coughing on you and giving you uh, whatever it is plague that's going around at that time. Okay, and so. Um, it, it's worth gaining 76 years in longevity by doing everything right. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, rye, and oats, no sugar, uh, no carbonated drinks, including the diet ones. And there's another piece here. This gluten thing is so important. Okay, in addition to those fried things, which we did, told you about that Italian experiment. Um, when you talk about gluten, when you compare peoples who live like Asians, they do very, very well with pandemics. And the people who eat like Europeans don't do very well. Well, the difference is Europeans eat gluten, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snacks. They even eat gluten when they're asleep, okay? Whereas Asians live on maize, corn, rice, sweet potatoes, beans, squash, and seaweed. So let's look at some of the worst ones. I think we've got, what, a couple of minutes here. I can do one or two comparisons. Can I do that, Rebecca? Go ahead, Dr. Wallach. Okay. Um, this is yesterday's figures, okay? This I, I kind of didn't have a chance early this morning to get the new figures, but these are probably pretty close. Let's compare Brazil and Nigeria, which we've done several times before over the last year. Um, they both have about 208 million people, and Nigeria is 98% Black African tribal peoples. I mean, they're about as, as um, homogenous as you can get, okay? And um, let's see here, then Brazil, is 47% Europeans. They've been there for 400 years because of gold and silver in Brazil. They left Europe to go get rich in Brazil. And uh, they also have 47% mulattoes or biracial, <clears throat> half black, half white, and then 9% black. Now, the number of dead as of yesterday um, in Brazil is 477,307. The number of dead in Nigeria is 2,000. 117 is 2,000 less than 477,000. <laughs> okay. And then Nigeria, the number of infections they have is as of yesterday, it was 166,918, just as, almost 167,000. As of yesterday, Brazil had 17,038,260 infections. Is 17 million more than 166,000? Of course. So, what's the difference between the two countries? Has the same population. Well, the difference is Nigeria lives on the West Coast. It's on the West Coast of Africa, and they live like Asians. They live on maize, corn, rice, sweet potatoes, beans, squash, and seaweed. You look at the Brazilians, they've been eating for 400 years like Europeans. Wheat, brought around oats. Gluten alert, gluten alert, gluten alert. Their intestines are dead, and they don't eat seaweed and all that kind of stuff, and they don't supplement. And so that's why they have such a bad time. And, of course, um, it's one of those terrible, terrible things. All right, let's look at uh, another, let's look at Texas versus Australia. Let's look at, well, let's, let's, let's do something different. Let's look at uh, Texas, uh, let's look at Texas versus um, mm, mm, Vietnam. Vietnam has 97 million people, okay? Texas has 29 million, about a third Okay, about a third of the Vietnamese population. Texas has 51,000. I think actually, as of today, let's say that as of today, Texas has, um, let's see, uh, let's see. Oh, I don't have their population on here. Okay, they have, um, mm -mm. so they have the same population. Okay, Texas, okay, uh, 29 million. And again, Vietnam has 97 million and Vietnam has 35 dead. Texas has 51,000, almost 52,000 dead. Um, Vietnam has 3,700 infections. Texas has 2.9 million infections. It's only one third the population. Right, that's, okay. huge. that's, that's yes. a huge difference. Okay, so what's the, what's, what's the difference? Is it genetic? No. Is it racial? No. Well, the Vietnamese are classic Asian country and they just live on rice and maize and sweet potatoes and beans and squash and seaweed. Whereas Texans 
um, 40, 50, 60 percent of their counties, uh, the peoples in their counties, depending on which county you're looking at, are Latinos, Blacks, and Indigenous peoples, Indian tribes, all of whom live on nothing but wheat, brown, and oats. Your favorite food is your flat bread that's deep fried. So they're getting a double whammy, deep frying, wheat, flat bread. Okay, I mean, that's a killer. And so that's why they have just short of 3 million infections and 51,469 dead. And this is unimpeachable. I have probably a hundred comparisons now. We don't have time to go through them all, but you get the drift. When you compare peoples who eat like Asians, they do very well compared to the people who eat like Europeans. And you know, when you look at um, uh, France, um, they have the highest rate of infections of just about 6 million people, okay, infected uh, when it comes to Europeans. I mean, look at us, 34 million, but they have 6 million people infected, that's Europeans. Um, they have 107,000 dead. They have the same population as Thailand, a classic Asian country, okay, with uh, 67 million people. And Thailand has, oh, 518 dead, versus 107,000 dead. They have 93,000 infections, not even 100,000 infections versus 5 million infections, okay? But same population, 67 million. Well, that's because, of course, Thailand, again, is a classic Asian country. They live on maize, rice, sweet potatoes, beans, squash, and seaweed. And, um, and then you, you look at, uh, um, Texas, you look at Florida, it's, it's very, very scary when you have those kinds of figures. All right, so with that said, um, we do say there's two things you need to do. Get rid of all the bad foods, fried foods, processed meats, oils, and gluten. We brought around oats, uh, sugar, and carbonated drinks. Take your 90 essential nutrients. Our basic core program is the Healthy Start Pack, um, which has the 90 essential nutrients. And our Healthy Brain and Heart Pack is the biggest hammer in the toolbox, and it has 215 nutrients in it versus 90. But the core of the healthy brain and heart pack is still those 90, okay? But the other ones, everybody doesn't agree upon, okay? But we don't care, we're not waiting for everybody. We're saying, okay, these are essential. Now, you can add 25 to 50 healthy years of your life very quickly just by avoiding the bad food and supplementing. If you really, really crunch down on it and make it your priority in life, Okay, as opposed to making a hole in one on golf course, make that your priority in life is to get rid of all the bad stuff and take the 90 essential nutrients, better yet, the 215 essential nutrients. Um, you can add, what did I say? You can add, um, 79. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so you can add 76 years. You can add 76 years to your 79 years, and it'll be 155, unless you're an emergency room doctor, okay, you can add 98 years to your 57 years and live to be 155. Now, is not, depending on your body weight, five to $10 a day worth another 70 years of life? Of course it is. People spend a lot more than that. You know, they go out on a Friday night and they, you know, what do they spend on beer and wine and alcohol and that kind of stuff? You go to a movie, how much is it in a movie? Is it two bucks for a movie today? Uh, I don't think so. What's what's the price of a movie ticket today? Uh, last time I went, Dr. Wallach, it was $12 for the movie ticket. And well, the there you tub, go. The tub of popcorn was $10. Well, there you go. So, <laughs> but you're going to save that much money by getting rid of the bad foods because bad foods tend to be very expensive, not only in their cost, but also in your misery and having to go to the doctor and all that kind of stuff and shortening your life. So, um, you know, you can say, okay, I don't want to spend $10 a day, but I will spend $5 a day. Okay, good. You know, get on your healthy start pack, um, get rid of all the bad stuff, use our rebound or sports drink with hundred nutrients in it instead of Red Bull and Gatorade, uh, which are carbonated sugar and caffeine drinks. All right. They're, they're meant for quick pop energy for athletes who need to be crazy for a minute. <laughs> okay. And so, uh, our, our products like Rebound, we've made for professional athletes like Theo Ratliff and Evander Holyfield and Virgil Akins. And um, uh, it, it's an amazing thing. Oh, also our NCAA All-American, um, uh, Kelly Heron, 
uh, she had a rotator cuff problem two years into it. She was an All-American in just two years at, uh, in college. And so we rebuilt her over a year. She went back to college and she played for two more years and went out and, and was coaching kids and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, this works. We, we've been doing this for 50 years. And so, the, you know, commercially. And so we know what we're doing. And I, I probably next week, we're going to have a big, 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 big announcement uh, a week from today. I can't quite say it now, it'd be premature, but 90% uh, of it's done. The other 10% we got to put in the box, so to speak. But I'm very excited about what's going on here. If you think all this is good, as they say in um, Hollywood, you ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, fantastic. I'm excited. I can't wait. Um, I love surprises, actually. No, it's going to be, it's a oh, good one. Fantastic. Now, so Dr. Wallach, you know, with, with the pandemic, I mean, these are things that are all contagious, passed from person mm -hmm. to person. But something that we have around the world, and, it's, and I, I think it's more prevalent in the United States, and that's diseases that are attacking our cells. And, break, and the body breaking down, it's just opened up for, for you know, the C word, the D word, you know, all of these mm. things that are just skyrocketing, mm -hmm. blood sugar, and it, but it's, it's so simple on what we can do because we're worth it, investing that five to $10 a day in our own health. It has been the greatest investment that I've ever done, Dr. Wallach. Yeah, well, you lost 95 pounds. I guarantee you've added 25 years to your life. Um, I expect to see you as a senior, uh, what do you call it, um, centenarian, a super, super centenarian, super, super. centenarian. Yeah, super centenarian so at, at 110 years of age. Okay, that's uh, our goal is to make everybody a super centenarian, 110 years of age. We can do this. We have the, the knowledge. We know what needs to be done. And uh, the Yongevity family, uh, is going to have the highest percentage of super centenarians of any group around. And this new announcement next week is going to be a big part of that. Uh, it's going to be a giant step forward. It's like all the years that people talked about going into space when that first rocket went into space. I mean, the belief in that went way up. Well, when you hear what we're doing next week, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's just the next, what should I say? <laughs> it's the next universe. The, the, the next level, stepping up the game. Yes. Awesome. Yes. So Dr. Wallach, um, something that's, that's come across my desk is so many times as strokes. Mm -hmm. And I, I know there's different kinds of strokes. Well, there's, a, there's the Australian stroke, there's a the breast stroke, there's a the back stroke. So I'm talking about strokes that happen within oh, oh, oh. the brain. Okay. <laughs> so I'd love to be doing the backstroke in a nice warm pool Ooh. right now. Yeah. <laughs> but let's talk, let's talk about health and the brain okay. and strokes. And I mean, because the, the after effects of a stroke can be devastating. Yes. And it can be fatal. If not fatal. Yeah. So, so share with us a little bit, Dr. Wallach, about what okay. happens with a stroke. Okay. And what we could do to either react, counteract, or ward off. Okay. So. Well, there's three, there's three different types of strokes. One is a blood clot. That's easy to understand. You get a blood clot in a, in a blood vessel, an artery or vein in the brain, and it cuts off the blood supply into the brain. And it cuts off the outflow or the blood from the brain. And as a result, it, it puts pressure um, on an area of the brain. And so you get certain symptoms. Okay, immediately lose your ability to speak or you can't walk, or you lose your vision or something, something like that happens. Okay, um, because you cut off the blood supply to a certain portion of the brain that controls all its different areas. Another one um, is a, a, um, sort of a chronic buildup of plaque in an artery in the brain. Okay, you don't necessarily have to have a blood clot, but you get plaque buildup and so now the blood passing through that blocked artery, maybe only 10% of what you need instead of 90% or 100%. And then the really, the most dramatic strokes are ruptured aneurysms, ruptured uh, small arteries in the brain. 
and uh, you can drop dead. I mean, just you're dead when you have a, a ruptured aneurysm. 99% of the time, you're going to die very quickly. Okay, because not only um, does that blood um, vessel, that artery rupture, and you're getting blood into the brain, or the surrounding tissue, uh, but also you cut off the oxygen supply to the rest of the brain because you shut off the food supply when you have an aneurysm and the, brain, and the blood's going out of the arteries instead of through the arteries to the brain. Um, and so all of these are nutritional deficiency diseases. They're not genetic. We've had five generations of our family die of strokes. Well, that's because you all eat the same way. You're all eating um, pancakes and waffles and French toast for breakfast and oatmeal for breakfast. You're all going to a spaghetti factory three nights a week. You have hamburgers and hot dogs with a hamburger bun and hot dog buns for lunch. You have flour tortillas uh, 10 days a week. <laughs> okay, you understand what I'm saying? And so every meal you eat and every snack you eat, pretzels with your beer. That's gluten on top of gluten. Pretzels on top of your beer, okay? That's, that's crazy. And so uh, you really have to pay attention. Remember, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no gluten, no wheat butter, I know. Um, the only um, health challenge I've ever had, I'm 82 years old. I just had a birthday last week. I'm 82 years old. And um, I don't have any pre-existing conditions. I don't have any habit pressure. I don't have any plaque hours. I don't have any, um, let's see here. I don't have any thyroid problems. I don't have any irregular heartbeats. I don't have any ulcers. I don't have any um, irritable bowel syndrome. I don't, I don't have any of that stuff. I don't have any eczema. I don't have any psoriatic arthritis. I don't have any back problems and psoriasis. I don't have any ringing in my ears. I don't have any balance problems. I only lost one tooth and that was in a fight. Okay. <laughs> and, and so um, uh, it's one of those things where uh, we have the capacity to live to be 155 in good shape. Super centenarians are 110. Okay. And so my goal is to make everybody who's associated with longevity to at least live to be 110. We want to have the biggest community of super centenarians. We, we have the knowledge, we know what to eat, what not to eat to get there. We know what supplements people need to get there and we make it a reasonable price. We give car bonuses, <laughs> you know, for encouragement uh, to do this. Um, uh, and of course, if you do this as a business, um, you get tax breaks. You can get a couple of thousand dollars a month worth of tax breaks in the government. So all they're talking about now is raising taxes so they can give all this money to, to um, illegal immigrants coming in, right? And so when they tax you, if you have all these tax breaks, it's no big deal. Well, where do you get the tax breaks? Well, when you run a business out of your home, depending on the percentage of floor space you use for your business, let's say your mortgage is $2,000 a month, whether it's a, a rental property or a you're buying your house, two thousand dollars a month, and you're using twenty five percent of the space. That's five hundred bucks a month. You get to see, you get to use the same um, uh, deduction for your utilities. You get the same deduction for your homeowners or renters insurance. So you could be uh, getting a thousand dollars a month. That's twelve thousand dollars in tax deductions by running your longevity business out of your home. You don't need to get a store. You don't need to pay employees. Okay. We pay them, okay? You just get them signed up and trained and we pay them for you. And um, it, it's one of those things where it's a win, 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 win situation. Uh, you get an auto ship, I pay the shipping. I don't know how to make any better. It's a willable asset. You can leave it to, you can retire on it, get somebody in your business to run the day-to-day -day business and you can go out and play golf and play tennis, go fishing every day and never do another drop of work and you're getting your check every month still. Okay, for say six, eight, 10, 20 years. And then um, when you do die in your will, you've left it to somebody, uh, hopefully to the person who's been running it for you when you retired, that way they know what to do and they can go for a hundred generations. And every time somebody signs up as an associate, one of our business builders, I will give them for free. And when they renew every year, I will give them for free each time, 500 bucks worth of business building uh, information and materials plus a new website. And what a way to be able to build your business, 500 bucks worth of stuff free. Hello. Right. Well, and one thing that I really like about it, Dr. Wallach is with traditional brick and mortar business, in addition to your home expenses, you've got a lease on a building, you've got electric bills that are incredible. And with our home business, we don't have that overhead of thousands of dollars. I mean, I invest about 300 into my own health 
every month and that's it. And it's tax deductible because in your and business plan, deductible. you're going to say in your business plan that your longevity business takes care of your health insurance and your, your special food and supplements you need to stay healthy. And, and I make much more than that that covers the cost <laughs> of my supplements. So um, it's, it's incredible that one, as we're working and helping ourselves get and stay healthy, we can do the same for others. And, you know, the phone calls and the messages and the emails that are saying, sharing all of the breakthroughs and the differences that people are feeling is just so rewarding, Dr. Wallach. And I know you get it all the time. Um, it's, it just, it brightens my heart um, to be able to do something that has such wonderful purpose. Yeah, and it's, it's a wonderful thing because uh, we're all in this together. Uh, we're all helping one another. And um, it's uh, one of those things which just is uh, very emotional for me because when this, when this started, um, I figured I had to do this because they fired me for finding out the cause, prevention, and cure for cystic fibrosis. I found the first non-human case uh, of cystic fibrosis at the Yerkes Primate Center in Atlanta, Georgia. I was working for NASA as a pathologist. And they fired me when I said um, cystic fibrosis wasn't genetic, it was a simple nutritional deficiency, which I could get rid of. And so they fired me. And that's when I went back to school and became a physician. And of course, you don't hear anything about cystic fibrosis, muscular dystrophy, or sediment death syndrome anymore, because I'm the guy that got rid of all three of those diseases. They're gone because of our settlement programs and educational programs. They're gone. But do you ever hear of a medical doctor saying, yeah, that crazy Wallach, I don't know, no, he's a veterinarian, but he, he got rid of cystic fibrosis, muscular dystrophy, and, and uh, sediment death syndrome, so you got to love them. Well, th their idea of sediment death syndrome was the mothers were laying on the babies. You remember that. Uh, well, 90, I, first thing I checked is <clears throat> uh, on the death certificate reports, where was the baby when they found them dead? Well, they were all in their cribs. 98% were in the cribs, so I made them change the name to crib death instead of sediment death syndrome. And, and, and then the 2% that were in bed with their mothers, they weren't laid on. They were dying of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy heart disease. The same thing the crib death babies were dying of, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy heart disease. And you may remember this. It's a, it's a disease that kills young athletes, okay? And it's a disease that kids are getting now who are getting the vaccinations are getting hypertrophic cardiomyopathy heart disease. They don't die, but they get hypertrophic cardiomyopathy heart disease because they're missing one particular nutrient. And when they get that vaccination, remember... When you get a vaccination, you're getting a, a, a produced small infection, okay? You're getting alerted to that infection. And so instead of dying, they don't quite have enough bad stuff going on to die, but because they're so deficient in that one nutrient, they have a heart attack. As this is this um, special thing that's in teenagers now who get the vaccination. It's because of a single nutritional deficiency, it's the same nutritional deficiency that causes um, crib death, AKA sentiment death syndrome. And it's one of those things where, um, oh my goodness, just think about it. Sentiment death syndrome is gone. Doctors thought it was mothers laying on babies. That's how wrong they were. How wrong is it to say mothers are killing their babies by laying on in their bed when they're really dying from a nutritional deficiency because Infamil and Similac only had three minerals in them? They're missing 57 minerals. And that happened after the Second World War started because all the mothers who had historically been breastfeeding their babies suddenly now were in the factories making bullets and tanks and airplanes. So they had to come up with a baby formula for 80 year old grandmother to feed the baby or granddaddy or uncle, somebody to feed the babies. So they came up with Infamil and Similac and other baby formulas, but they only put three minerals in there. And one, that one mineral that causes hypertrophic cardiomyopathy heart disease was missing and caused all three of those diseases. Now, when you look back at 2011, okay, 2011, when I got an award for that, the Klaus Schwartz Award, published in three languages, Klaus Schwartz Award, um, we gave that to Jerry Lewis and he got excited. He took it to the Muscovy Association and they fired Jerry Lewis because he brought him all the information that um, Marvin Ropp and I had been working with, with the kids with Muscovy in Utah, Indiana, and in Canada. And, um, but at any rate, it's, it's crazy. They fired Jerry Lewis, just like they fired me. 
when he brought them, he, he raised $2 billion for them. And when he brought them the cure, he, you know, Marvin and I gave him a, a dozen charts and he called the doctors who signed off on the charts and said, these kids don't, we don't know why, but they don't have muscularity anymore. So he got excited and he took them to the muscularity association who he was, you know, 20 years, he, he raised $20 billion to find the cure. So he brought him the cure. He brought him the cure and they fired him before he even walked out the door. You never heard of him ever again. Okay. That's, that's so heartbreaking, Dr. Wellick, because, you know, we donate so much money to these foundations in hopes that the money is going to be utilized to actually do what they say that they are intending it. For. Well, now we have to ask, we have to ask the people, okay, let me see your evidence. Do you know what's going on with this disease? They didn't have it for cystic fibrosis. They didn't have it for muscular dystrophy. They didn't have it for sediment death syndrome. And they don't have it for diabetes. They don't have it for psoriatic arthritis. They don't have it for rheumatoid arthritis. They don't have it for irritable bowel syndrome. They don't have it for asthma. They don't have it for any of those diseases, okay? Because they're all nutritional deficiency diseases. None of them are autoimmune and none of them are genetic. That's why I'm considered one of the two fathers along with Bruce Lipton. Uh, as the science of epigenetics. Of course, we have the book Epigenetics uh, and the uh, two CDs, one he made, one that I made, which are available. And, you know, they can go to uh, either you or to www.drjwallet.com. And people need to get this information so they can show it to people. Here's the references. Here's where we're coming from. We're not just saying something. This is proven in the laboratory, proven in the clinical setting, proven in live family lives. It doesn't get any better than that. Now, here's the last piece of information I want to throw out on sentiment death syndrome. In 2011, when that paper came out, when I got the award, the Klaus Schwartz Award, okay, um, the number of sentiment death syndrome babies per 300 normal births was one, one per 300 normal births. Today is one in 3,000. It's a huge improvement from one in 300 to one in 3,000. Now, the, one that, the reason why there's still a few sentiment death syndromes, there's mothers who are breastfeeding the babies but not taking supplements themselves so they don't get enough of that nutrient to come through the milk into their babies. Or they may be giving the babies uh, cow's milk just out of a glass bottle out of a grocery store instead of a farm milk because in 2011, actually, excuse me, it was 2013, we forced through a federal court ruling, 2013, April 16, 2013, we forced all the baby farmers that are in the United States to put that nutrient into the baby farmers. And that's why sentiment death syndrome, muscular dystrophy, and cystic fibrosis went away because we put that nutrient into the baby farmers by federal court ruling. They couldn't, they couldn't deny the results of a project. Dr. Milan and I went to China. We did 1,700 autopsies on kids that died of that hypertrophic cardiomyopathy heart disease. 35% of them had cystic fibrosis. 100% of them had muscular dystrophy. And uh, 200 of them under the age of one year of age had what we would call sentiment death syndrome here in the United States. But it was all a deficiency of a single nutrient. And the, the federal judges, April 16, 2013, said, you know, we cannot design, we cannot deny the results of this study with 1,700 babies involved. So we have to rule in Dr. Wallach's favor. Well, so I'm glad that they did. <laughs> I, I really am. And, you know, a lot of people don't realize that our bodies can't make minerals. Duh. It's, and just because they're there, you know, in the beginning doesn't mean that they stick around if you're not fortifying and keeping it going. We consume them. We use them. We use them up. Okay. And we sweat them out. We pee them out. Okay. We use them up. And so you have to constantly replace them, just like you have to constantly put gasoline in your car. Okay, you check your oil to see if you need to put more oil in your car. You check your air pressure in your tires. Okay, you don't just wash your car and wax it. You do all this other stuff, okay, to check how the machinery works. And you won't keep watching the red warning light in the dashboard. And we do have a CD called, uh, uh, see, pharmacist Keith Abel and myself, we came up with a CD with eight or nine different pre existing conditions. It's called the red warning lights, how to diagnose them yourself and also how to get rid of them using the longevity programs. These are all nutritional deficiency diseases. None of them are genetic and none of them are autoimmune. And if you get rid of those pre-existing conditions, we call them the metabolic syndromes, like high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity, those kind of things, heart disease, kidney failure, 
All those are easily reversed with a nutritional program and a dietary program. So why not give it a try for three months? Give it, give it 90 days and it never fails. If you do it exactly as we say in 90 days, you, it'll freak you out. Well, I've had this for 30 years. Why would it go away now? Well, because you're absorbing the nutrients, you're supplementing with the nutrients to guarantee you're going to give your body what it needs. The body can do amazing things when it has what it needs. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Well, Dr. Wellick, we have several people with their hands up. So let's go ahead and we're going to get started with questions. Thank you so much for all that information that you shared. Um, and folks, you know, on behalf of Ask Doc Live, we want to make sure that you are getting the information and the service that you deserve. So if you were directed to this show by anybody specific, make sure you get back with them, okay? Yes, we have a website that's available to placing orders. Yes, we have the contact us, but the person that invited you to this program is the person that you need to get back with. Now, if you've never spoken with anybody about any longevity products or about Dr. Wallach, then yes, feel free, use our website, place your orders, use the contact us to get information. But the, the person that invited you to watch this program truly cares about you. And there's a possibility that they have their own special way to help you get the products that you deserve. So I just wanna make sure that that's clear, okay? Let's go to our first hand up. And the first hand is Mary. Mary, if you could unmute yourself, I just sent you an invitation. Hi, I don't think I was the first up, but I'll be the first up. Thank you so much, Dr. Wallach. Hi, uh, how I'm can we help to, you? Yeah. Um, well, my age, do you want my age? Um, yes, ma'am. 67. Okay. Uh, let's see. Symptoms are exhausted. Um, for two times and within about two months, I had I ran to the urgency. Now, I never go to that many doctors that I can help that haven't had a mammogram for 10 years. Kind of afraid about that. Um, but uh, I went because... Um, I ate something and I got sick in my stomach, which is such a rare thing. But um, <clears throat> every time I went twice, um, I was vomiting uh, the second time and I had a bad stomach ache and a bad headache. And I had a friend take me a second time. The first time, which was about a month before I went and um, I didn't have the stomach ache, but I felt the, uh, I had the swirl. Okay, stop, Vertigo. stop. That's yeah, very, yeah. Oh, vertigo, that's very important. Vertigo, do you have any tinnitus or ringing in your ears? No. Okay, how much I do you I had weigh? that 20, 25 years ago when I had an ear accident 20, okay. 30 years ago. Okay, how much do you weigh? 125. Okay, do you have any other issues, any high blood pressure, diabetes, or skin problems? Yeah, I have skin issues. Okay, what kind of skin issues? Psoriasis, eczema, dermatitis, what do you got? An itching, uh, scratching, dry skin. Okay. All right. Do you have any varicose veins? No. Do you have any hemorrhoids? Not that I know of. Not now. Oh. Not now. <laughs> okay. Now, is this your natural hair color, white? Yes, because of the um, whatever, the virus. Yeah, finally went real. <laughs> okay. Uh, what was your hair color before it went white? It was, um, well, it's it was, it was this uh, kind of uh, ash- blonde somewhere back okay. in here is my real color yeah okay but i was uh, always a blonde okay well i'm asking that because uh, white grain silver hair uh, is a deficiency of a certain nutrient okay it's not um due to age it's not due to the infection itself um it's a deficiency of a nutrient and the same deficiency will also cause varicose veins and hemorrhoids also causes aneurysms ruptured aneurysms and also causes skin wrinkles um uh and you can actually um, get all kinds of weird stuff going on in your intestines and stuff, which you have some history of. Okay. Um, let's see. But you do, do you still have the vertigo on occasion? I did. I just went to the doctor, uh, the urgency to about uh, last Monday, and mm -hmm. um, I had it. I, I just had a weakness in my okay. system. 
very okay. exhausted every day. Okay. I'm okay. 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 Stop. Uh, now, do you have anything going on in your hands and wrists and arms? Any tingling, numbness in your wrists and hands and arms, neck pain, anything? No. Okay. What about your feet or legs or hips, knees? Well, I had a fall on my knees about three months ago, mm -hmm. but that was very slight. Nothing has happened from that. Just once okay. in a while, tenderness. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have a history of a low back problem? No, I'm very, I, I've never had problems really. Okay. Any, okay. Um, let's see here. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Let's, oh, did you ever have any asthma when you were a kid? No. Okay. All right. No respiratory stuff now. I had, um, what's that called? Rhinitis about uh, a mm -hmm. two, three years, four years okay. ago. Okay. I never okay. had that ever in my life either. Okay. Do you ever have any history of any anemia or low white blood cells or low platelets, anything like that? Um, they had a report that I, my white blood cells were a little high. They thought it was a urinary infection, but they found mm -hmm. out it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, um, here we go. Um, get your pen and paper ready. Um, you have a long history of a gluten issue. You must be drop dead gluten free. No wheat, rye, rye, or oats. You can't even say the words. Everybody in your household has got to be gluten free, so there's no cross contamination in the uh, laundry, the food preparation surfaces, and so forth. If they want to eat gluten, they got to strip down out in the front yard and you hose them down for a half hour before you let them in the house. Okay, this is life and death for you. Okay, and then. Um, at 125 pounds, I want you to get one healthy brain and heart pack per month, get another bottle of Arselenium, not Selenium from Walgreens. Arselenium has five cofactors in there. One of those cofactors is what's missing, why you have the white hair and the um, um, things going on with your bowels. That's why your white blood cells are up because you have a bowel issue uh, due to the gluten. And so um, that's all very important there. Then uh, in addition to that one healthy brain and heart pack, the extra bottle of selenium, I want you to take three selenium twice a day because there's one bottle of our selenium in the healthy brain and heart pack. I want you to get our MSM, get two bottles a month of MSM so you can take three with each meal. Uh, they will support and promote maintenance repair of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, disc between the vertebrae, bone makes your bone itself, um, as well as your skull because you have osteoporosis of the skull is why you have that vertigo as a squeezing of the vestibular branch of the eighth cranial nerve. Um, let's see here. Then I also want you to take our, let's see here, vitamin D3, uh, take our vitamin D3, take a three of those twice a day. That's two bottles a month. That's going to help you absorb minerals and put them in the right place. I want you also to take, um, uh, three of our glucogel capsules twice a day. That's one bottle a month or a large bottle of glucogel. Uh, that's a collagen. Okay. It helps rebuild cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, disc between the vertebrae, bone makes bone itself. Because you have all this stuff going on with your digestion and so on. Uh, uh, but remember, you got to get rid of gluten. But I also want you to take what we call our gallbladder in a bottle. It's our ultimate enzyme. You can take um, one or two of those, say, five or ten minutes for each meal with a couple ounces of water. I also want you to use our um, colloidal silver. Put two droppers full under your tongue, 30 minutes for each meal, and two droppers full under your tongue, three minutes for bed. Uh, at that rate, two bottles will be required per month. Colloidal silver kills every bug there is because you have so many of these issues going on, um, which are related to gluten, okay? Gluten intake and not taking in um, the proper amount or the proper supplements and so forth to give your body what it needs. So if you can't absorb it and you're not taking it, they're really in trouble here. And so if you do get the um, COVID or the next coming pandemic, you're gonna get hit pretty hard. So give us, give us a call every couple of weeks because it doesn't take long, your hair color is gonna come back. I get people who had snow white hair for 25 years and in 90 days, your hair color came back. They're freaking out and the doctor said, are you coloring your hair? He said, no, it came back naturally. And doctors can't believe that because if you ask them, why am I hair going gray? Well, you're 70 years old, you gotta expect that. So, you know, but it's not an aging thing. Again, they missed it by a thousand miles. Just remember, they're trying to put you in the herd so you can have herd immunity. <laughs> Okay, Rebecca. All right. Um, so she's holding up barley grass and barley grass, Dr. Wallach, um, it's even though it's just the grass, it still has gluten. Of gluten. Oh yeah, oh yeah, gluten alert, gluten alert, gluten alert. No wheat, no barley, no rye, no oats. No wheat, no barley, rye, no oats. No seeds, no grass, no roots, no juice, uh, no powder, no flour, 
you can't even say the word. You know, we brought around notes. That's what, uh, for 400 years, that's what the Hebrew slaves grew for the Egyptians was barley and wheat. And so when the plagues came for every year for eight years in a row, they were dying by the thousands, but none of the Hebrew slaves died. What was that? Well, they weren't allowed to eat the barley and the wheat that the Egyptians got. So they grew all their food in a garden. Okay. And they also put their wood ashes in the garden. And um, there weren't enough wood ashes from the fires to put in 10,000 acre fields. And so finally, when Pharaoh's oldest son died in the eighth year, the Pharaoh's son died from the, the plague. So he turned the Hebrew slaves loose. And I looked and, and found out what were the Hebrew slaves doing for the Egyptians for 400 years? Were they washing clothes? Were they cooking? Were they babysitting? No, they were growing barley and wheat to feed their armies. Okay, so when the plague came, it was killing them like flies because they had no intestines left. They had no supplementation and they had no immune system. So the plagues were killing them like flies. But the, but the Hebrew slaves for 400 years were putting their wood ashes in their gardens or getting all those minerals from the wood ashes into their vegetables and their potatoes and all that kind of stuff. They didn't know anything about deep frying back in those days. And so, and they're, they're drinking milk, you know, they're milking their goats and, and sheep and all that kind of stuff. And so when they were turned loose the next year, suddenly now all the deaths from the plague that had been going on every year for eight years in the Egyptians stopped. Well, why was that? Well, without the, the slaves, the Hebrew slaves, they couldn't grow barley and wheat anymore. So every Egyptian had to have their own little garden and they were putting their wood ashes in there and their minerals supported their immune system and the plague stopped. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. So it's not just a great place to put the wood ash because you can't think of anywhere else to put it. There's a purpose, right? Yes. So, oh, yeah. So it, it was the fertilizer of the day for thousands of years. Okay, because they contain the, the minerals that the tree had sucked up out of the ground. Now, wood ashes are not the same because nutritional minerals occur in veins like gold and silver. They do not occur in a uniform black around the crust of the earth. So you, you can have a family scattered across the country. They're eating the exact same recipe that grandma used to live to be 114 and everybody else across the country using her same recipes for breakfast and lunch and dinner are dying in their 50s and 60s. But we're doing everything grandma did. Yeah. Okay. Well, but are, you, are you getting wood ashes from her property? No, of course not. It's way too far away. Are you supplementing? No. Okay. Well, there you go. That's why you're not making it. Grandma was the clever girl. Yes. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you so much for that information. Now let's go to Maureen. And I apologize if, if you get bumped out for some reason and you come back in and raise your hand again, it does mess up the order in which we see your hands. So um, Maureen, go ahead and unmute. And if you could turn your camera on, that would be fantastic. You are on live with Dr. Wallet. Yeah. Hello, Maureen. All I see is an icon on here. I don't see anything else. Yeah, she was she was unmuted and then went muted again. Okay, now try again, Maureen. Nope, she keeps going mute, unmute. Okay, let's go to Yvonne. Yvonne, go ahead and unmute yourself. Hey, good morning, Doc. Good to see you again. Um, hello, happy, hello. There happy you are. Birthday, happy birthday Thank you. week. <laughs> Hey, so I have two clients. Uh, the first one um, had a health score in March of 41 and remarkable results. Uh, uh, 65 year old, 150 pounds, 5'3", and she had a prolapsed bladder. You, I don't know, you know, anyway. Um, and absolutely incredible. The, um, the results from that, no more bleeding. Uh, the prolapse has actually no longer coming through the vaginal opening. Um, the pain voiding more, um, no longer nauseous. So just since March to June, her health score this week was 40 plus 40. So she went from a minus 41 to a 40. Just wanted to say thank you very much. Okay. Thank and you for that testimony. Yep. Was there any additional supplementation we could be doing at this time or? Um, well, she uh, just needs to stay with the same program. Now that she's 
you know, recovered, don't stop. You got to stay right. on the same program. Right. Okay. People will say, yeah. well, well, how long do I have to stay on these vitamins and minerals? Well, how long do you need oxygen? How long do you need water? How long do you need the vitamins and minerals? All, you know, for the rest of your life. Okay. But uh, this is very typical. And usually when people have prolapsed bladder and urinary problems and all that kind of stuff, it's almost always a low back problem. And um, the disc are shrinking, the vertebrae getting closer together, smashing the roots of the sciatic nerves, which control the bladder. Okay. And that's why they have all these issues. And you, you deal with that. So she needs to stay on her MSM, her, her, her collagen, okay. her glucogel, vitamin D3, her 90 essential nutrients to stay away from all the bad foods, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no gluten, no wheat brown rhinos, no carbonated drinks, no sugar. And she will continue to do well. Yeah, she actually had spina bifida and had when she was born and had a tumor on the spine. So you, you nailed it. So my next client real quick, her health score was minus 32 and she has a um, benign tumor uh, in her brain and wondering um, how we can help her. She is um, 55 years old, 5'4", 225 pounds. She has also had uh, the first she had the lap band and then they went in and did a second procedure. She actually lost weight only to regain all of it and then some back. Okay, let's stop there. Does she have any high blood pressure, diabetes? Uh, none noted. Okay, so here we go. 225 pounds, five foot four. I'd like to see her weigh 130. So she leaves, needs to lose about 80, 90 pounds. I want her to take one meal a day, our keto bar. One meal a day, okay? And I think they come 10... 10 in a box. Okay, so she'll need to get, um, what, three boxes to go through the month. And then after a month or two, she can try two meals a day, having a keto bar, two days a week. The other five days, just stay on one meal a day, okay? Then I want her to eat like an Asian. I want her to eat rice and maize and beans and squash and all that kind of stuff and fish and poultry. She can have red meat, but nothing fried, right? No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no gluten, no wheat brought right now, no sugar. She'll lose a half a pound, two pounds a day. I want her to take two healthy brain and heart packs per month, the full dose, everything twice a day. I want her to take um, our HGH. She can take the HGH, um, the uh, human growth hormone. That, that will give her the raw materials for all the hormone stuff and her pituitary and hypothalamus and all that stuff to, to do their work. Um, I want her to take three of those twice a day. There's two bottles a month of the HGH. I also want her to take our synaptive. She can take three of those twice a day. There's two bottles a month. And that gives the brain what it needs to make the chemistry so each cell can talk to each other. I also want her to have um, our de-stress capsules, which is for brain metabolism. She can take three of those twice a day. It's two, two bottles a month. And then um, let's see here. Uh, I also want her to eat three eggs twice a day, soft yolks, hard boiled eggs won't count. Fried eggs will give her cancer. So she needs to take uh, soft boiled, soft yolks, soft poached, soft yolks, soft, soft scrambled butter, runny, and then call us every couple of weeks because you know what they're calling a benign tumor, um, could just be swelling in a certain area of the brain, giving her certain symptoms, depending on the location of the brain and so on. And so it's one of those things where uh, these things can go away very quickly, usually sometimes two, three days. I've had people in comas with these sort of benign tumors, okay, or diagnoses of Alzheimer's disease are in a coma in a nursing home being fed through a G-tube for eight years. And in three days of my program through the G-tube, they get up and go back to work thinking they're only asleep one night. I remember that story. Yeah, Ray McGregor from North yep. Carolina. <laughs> okay, so keep us informed here, but thank you. Thank you. Two great stories. Thank you much. Okay. Yeah, I just love this. And of course, I, I get these stories literally hundreds of times a day. People are emailing me, texting me, calling me, sending me letters, emails. It's like madness um, when people have such a hard time. The doctors miss it bad because they're taught to manage the disease. They're not, they're not taught to get to the root cause and eliminate it. Oh, I love my doctor. I was in pain for 20 years and he gave me these opioids and in three days time, I didn't have any more pain. I just love him. Then you die two years later from a ruptured aneurysm. And um, he's happy because, you know, you were part of the herd and he milked your insurance policy for two years before you died. Well, that's a sad note to take a potty break on, Dad. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, it's potty, potty break time. It's potty break time already. So everybody stick around. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in just about five minutes or less. You are listening to Ask Doc Live. All right. Thanks, everybody, for giving us that moment that we could just take a quick little break. Dr. Wallach will be back with us in just a quick moment. Um, but I want to encourage you, don't be part of the herd. Don't be part or one of the sheep that's just following the system and going along with it. Because you can be empowered empowered to take control of your own health and choose which direction your journey and life is going to go. I mean, a lot of people just think that, you know, all these different conditions come with old age, but that's not true. Society has gone down this path with empty food that affects our body greatly so that all of these things start to become just common. But you being on here and getting the information that you're gaining in today's program can be life-changing for you and your family and those you love. And I really encourage you to pay attention, be empowered and take action in making this not just a life where you're surviving, but a life where you're thriving and enjoying it. So Dr. Wallach, just a couple more moments out. Um, and I love seeing so many hands. I just wanna know that if for some reason you put your hand not down or you get bumped off the call and then come back in and then raise your hand again, it does mess up the order. So I apologize if, if I didn't see the order um, when you first came in. But it's, I love, I love these moments together, you know, where we are able to, to be sponges, to learn. Because what we're getting on the media or through the media and on television, it just is so different than what we can really do as empowered individuals. So where did he go? There he is. So. Looks like Dr. Wallach is just about ready. And again, you know, Ask Doc Live. It's a great place to get information. It's a great place to watch all of the replays of our programs that we have had since we started almost a year ago. I can't believe it's been a year already. Wow, it's a lot of fun. I know, every Friday, Doc. And I think there's only one Friday that we missed, and that was because it was New Year's. No, Christmas. <laughs> That's because it was Christmas. That's right. We did New Year's. It was Christmas that we, we missed. Okay. So, yes, yes. All right. Let's go to, let's see if, um, no. Okay. So let's go to Gregory, and Gregory's the next hand that I see in the order here. Gregory, go ahead and unmute yourself. You are on live with Dr. Wallach. And if you don't mind turning your camera on, that would be fantastic as well. There Hi, we go. good afternoon. Oh. Um, I'm speaking on behalf of my father, Mr. Gregory Arundel, because he has um, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis and it started um, sporadically. Um, he first got diagnosed um, February, 2019. And it started, um, he got it, uh, the first symptoms were atopic, whereas it affected his speech, um, his tongue. His first symptoms were muscle twitching, slurred speech, um, and now he has excessive saliva and also dry mouth at the same time. He has reduced mobility in his arms and legs. And um, for now, I think that's about it. Okay. Uh, now, what did the doctors diagnose your father with? Um, okay, okay. Other, you, got, you, got two, you got two people talking. I can't understand you with two people talking. No, I'm sorry. What happened is um, my dad, he's right here, Yeah. but he can't, he 
can't really speak, so I'm speaking for him. Well, but he's making a lot of noise. Okay, you have to tell him to be quiet. Okay. okay. Now, you, you have to tell me what the doctor's diagnosis was. I missed that in the beginning because he was talking when you were talking. Okay. He was diagnosed with ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Okay. Yes. ALS. ALS. Yes, ALS. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And um, so he's having speech problems. Um, he obviously has some yeah. balance problems because he's in bed. Okay. Does yeah. he have Does he have any diabetes or high blood pressure? Um, no, it's just that he has low sodium, slightly low sodium. That's in his, from his blood test. Yes, yeah, from I'm his assuming. blood test. Okay. I'm assuming yeah. the doctor has told him um, uh, not to take salt. <laughs> that's why he's in low, that's why he has low sodium no salt sodium chloride is salt if you're not eating salt you're going to have low sodium it's very simple okay now how much does your father weigh hello how much does your father weigh he weighs 140 pounds okay so he has no other issues other than the als and all the stuff going on in his face and upper body and neck and stuff from the ALS, correct? It looks like she might be having some technical issues. Okay, well, let's just, let's just go with the ALS. I mean, you're gonna have to shut them off because he's talking and, uh, and she's talking and it's not working. Okay, so 100, 140 pounds with ALS, uh, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, um, this this um, is very similar to um, uh, many other diseases of the brain. Oh, I'm hearing kids screaming. It shows that she's muted, Dr. Wallach. I'm not sure how it's coming through. Is it from? I'm not, I'm not muted. Okay, go, if you could go ahead and mute yourself so we don't hear the children and Dr. Wallach can share what the that would be fabulous. Go ahead. Dr. Okay. 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 All right. And so we're talking about um, uh, all kinds of brain diseases here. Okay. Um, Lou Gehrig's disease, ALS, um, that sort of stuff. Parkinson's disease. They're all the same disease. It's just for some strange remote reason, by chance, different parts of the brain are more severely affected. So you get different symptoms. And so they give them different names, but un the underlying disease is the same. Okay, that makes sense? Okay, so at 140 pounds, you need to get rid of all the bad foods. Everybody in the household, especially all those kids eating oatmeal and pancakes and French toast and spaghetti and flour tortillas, and you know the drill, okay? They need, and pizza crust, they need to stay away from him, get out of the house, move someplace else, or he's got to get out of the house and move someplace else where he can be gluten-free. No wheat, no barley, rye, and oats, no sugar, uh, no, um, uh, let's see here, no carbonated drinks of any kind, even the diet ones. And I want him at 140 pounds, um, I want him to have two healthy brain and heart packs per month, two healthy brain and heart packs per month, the full dose, everything at breakfast and dinner. I want him to also get our MSM in case he has some osteoporosis of the skull. Uh, I didn't get his age. I did not get his age, but we're, let's not ask her. Okay. I'll, I'll assume he's in his 60s looking at her she's in her 40s or 50s so he's probably in his 60s at least um so at any rate um uh i want him uh, also to have three of our msm tablets with breakfast lunch and dinner that'd be two bottles a month and they're going to support and promote maintenance repair of cartilage ligaments tendons connective tissue disc between the vertebrae bone makes your bone itself because you know he has leg issues and back issues and skin issues and all this kind of stuff so he needs that msm I want him to have the vitamin D3. You can take three of those twice a day. That's uh, uh, two bottles a month because I'm sure he doesn't get naked and go sit out in the sun for four hours every day. Usually people, when they go outside, they sit in the shade or they put sunblocker on and that kind of stuff, which is counterproductive here. Uh, I also want him to have um, our Ultimate Daily Classic tablets. You can take three of those twice a day. That's two bottles a month and they're going to support and promote healthy blood flow through the arteries in the brain and the heart and the kidneys and all over the place, right? Uh, he also 
We need to take our de-stress capsules, three of those twice a day. Uh, that'll be two bottles a month. Uh, that's for brain metabolism. He also needs the synaptive, three of those twice a day. It's gonna give the brain the biochemistry so each cell can make the biochemistry they need to so they can talk to the next door neighbor cell, right? So everything's organized and going the same direction. Lastly, I want him to get off of any statin drugs he's on. He cannot be on statin drugs to lower cholesterol because 75% of your brain weight is cholesterol. No statin drugs. He needs three eggs twice a day, three eggs twice a day. That'll be um, poached with soft yolks, soft boiled with soft yolks, soft, soft scramble of butter. Hard boiled eggs won't count and fried eggs cause cancer. And then we need to hear from him every couple of weeks uh, through the daughter. Um, but these people can recover very quickly, okay? Um, but he's got to stay away from the statin drugs because cholesterol makes up 75% of the brain weight, okay? And if he's having any um, troubles with his sex life and ED and that kind of stuff as a result, uh, he should also take our Zara test. He could take three of those tablets twice a day. It gives the Sertoli cells and the testicles what they need to make enough testosterone, but they do require also the eggs because remember, 95% of testosterone is cholesterol. So the Sertoli cells need the cholesterol plus the nutrients to make testosterone, but no, no statin drugs. <clears throat> okay, next. All right, thank you, Dr. Wallachson, and thank you, Nicole. So he's actually, he's 62 years old, so the protocol you that you gave to him is it's right perfect. On. Yes, absolutely perfect. So next, Dr. Wallach, we have Mark with his hand up. Mark, if you could go ahead and unmute yourself. You are on live with Dr. Wallach. Cool. Oh, how you doing, Doc? Okay. How can we help you, sir? Uh, okay. Uh, last year, I was diagnosed with the uh, polycythemia vera and told it was incurable and I have to be on um, these chemo meds uh, pretty much for the rest of my life. I'm just wondering if uh, there's okay. any alternatives. Did they tell you, did they tell you it was kind of an autoimmune disease, your body's attacking itself? Uh, yeah, that's what the medication's doing. Is that's dealing with it. I didn't tell me that. Okay. They didn't tell me the other thing. Okay, now, um, what, what are your symptoms? What are your personal symptoms with this? Well, before, I got diagnosed. I was having a lot of ocular migraines, just a chronic headache and a lot of fatigue. Uh, gums bleeding as well. Okay. Do you have any diabetes or high blood pressure? Uh, my blood pressure is a little high. Uh, diabetes, no. Okay. Do you have any varicose veins or spider veins in your legs? No. Okay. Are you coloring your hair? Do you have any white, gray, or silver hair? Uh, I do have gray hair. I'm 47 years old. Okay, now it's on the gray. Stands. Okay, yeah, well, gray hair is not an aging thing. It's actually a nutritional deficiency. Uh, that nutritional deficiency can cause uh, problems with your veins, varicose veins, and hemorrhoids, that kind of stuff, can cause problems with arteries, aneurysm. That's what um, Michael Jackson died from, was a deficiency of that. Uh, he had vitiligo, he lost his skin color, he lost his hair color, all that kind of stuff. And the doctors told him it was a uh, um, a genetic thing. There's nothing to do about it. He'd have to wear makeup, which he did, and he wore gloves with jewels on him, right? And he wore yeah. wigs and everything because I mean, he lost his hair color, lost everything. And then he died of a ruptured aneurysm at age 56. He died of a ruptured aneurysm aneurysm because that same deficiency causes ruptured aneurysm. Okay. okay. So you're headed that direction if you don't do what I suggest here. Okay. Cool. Um, how much do you weigh? Uh, 160. Okay. And how old are you, sir? I'm 47. And how tall are you? Uh, five foot seven. Okay. Did you play sports in high school or college? Uh, no. Okay. All right. Uh, what kind of work do you do? I work at a grocery store. Okay. That's a very important place right now. <laughs> so <Yeah>. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. You need to get rid of all the bad foods. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, no bread, no oats, no sugar, um, <clears throat> no carbonated drinks, even the diet ones. And this is for a lifetime. You can add 50 years to your life if you do this correctly, okay? You got to get rid of all this bad stuff. Then at, at, um, with your situation, 160 pounds, um, you need to take two healthy brain and heart packs per month. Two healthy brain and heart packs per month. The full dose, everything twice a day. And then I want you to get our... Um, MSM tablets, get two bottles a month of our MSM tablets. You can take three with each meal. 
They're designed to support and promote maintenance, repair of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, discs between vertebrae, bone breaks, your bone itself, including in your skull. Okay. Okay. And then um, I also want you to take our vitamin D3. Take three of those twice a day. It's two bottles a month. I want you to take our ultimate daily classic tablets. They will support healthy blood pressure, but also support healthy blood flow through blocked arteries in the brain, the coronary arteries of the heart, the kidneys, and so on. And your hair color should start coming back. Okay. And um, uh, for headaches, um, we actually have a, um, a, a uh, let's see here, a CBD oil product from our hemp FX division. There's no THC in it, so it's legal in all states. Um, you can take, uh, it's called um, Relax, okay? And you can take a couple of doses of that a day. That's gonna help you with the headaches, but also, um, for, for your fatigue, for fatigue, I want you to use our rebound or sports drink with hundred nutrients in it. It has 75 minerals and 25 vitamins and amino acids in it. It's actually made for professional athletes and Olympic athletes and university athletes. Um, so we have boxers, basketball players, hockey players, football players, uh, wrestlers, uh, pe people of all sports, um, golf, uh, tennis, who use this uh, rebound product. Uh, because uh, it's not like Red Bull and Gatorade, which is sugar and um, some caffeine, okay? It may have a couple of nutrients in it, but it doesn't have 100, okay? So you, you need to get on the rebound. It comes in 12-ounce cans. It also comes in what we call sticks or little individual servings. You can tear them open and put them in a bottle of water, a glass of water, put the powder in there. And um, so you can, the guy, you're, I, I weigh 142, and I drink two or three of those a day. Um, the rebound. Uh, I wrestled and weightlifted and played football in junior high and high school and college. And so I played sports for ooh, gosh, a good 20 years. I uh, was in the military for 27 years. Were you in the military? No, no military. Okay. Well, we still love you, brother. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So please, if, if you would, uh, you're going to have a great story to tell. You're going to help a lot of people. Because these various things, you know, doctors really don't know what to do about it. They, you know, have a pretty good idea of the, of the symptomatology and they have a name for that category, but they will just treat your symptoms. They really don't get down to dealing with the basic root cause, which is this program of the diet and the supplements is going to deal with your basic root cause. Okay. Okay. Don't forget the three eggs twice a day with, with soft yolks. No statin drugs. Do not lower your cholesterol. 75% of your brain weight is cholesterol. Worse yet, 95% of the weight of your testosterone is cholesterol. If you get on statin drugs, there ain't nobody home anymore. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. So give us a call every couple of weeks. We'll walk you through this. Okay. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mark. Now, Dr. Wallach, I have the information for Maureen. Maureen is 65 years old, 211 pounds, is um, suffering with vertigo pre-diabetes, cannot sleep straight six hours, blood pressure is controlled by drugs, has pain in the back of her legs, gray hair, on cholesterol drugs, and she is interested in losing weight. So five foot two, 211 pounds. Yeah, five foot two, I'd like to see her weigh 110. So she needs to lose hundred pounds. Okay, I want her to start out with one of our keto um, caramel bars, it doesn't have to be the same meal every day, but one meal a day. And after a month, I wanted to have a keto caramel bar meal twice a day for two days. The other five days still stay on one meal a day, okay? And she'll lose a half a pound to two pounds a day. But she's got to eat like an Asian, get rid of all the bad stuff. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, no bread, no sugar, no carbonated drinks, even the diet ones. She can have our rebound sports drink, okay, uh, for energy if she wants. And the vitiligo has to do with a squeezing of the vestibular brain through the H-cranial nerve by osteoporosis of the skull. And because she has high blood pressure, she's on medication. Don't cold turkey off the medication, but I want her to take our Ultimate Daily Classic tablet. She can take three of those twice a day, two bottles a month. And as the blood pressure numbers begin to come down, she can slowly reduce the medication based on the numbers. Same way with her pre-diabetes. I want her to take three of our Sweeties capsules twice a day, three twice a day, that's two bottles a month. And if she's on medication, don't cold turkey off of it. Um, if she's not on medication, she won't have to worry about that. But if she's on medication, but as the medication, excuse me, as her blood sugar begins to drop, either through the A1C or daily numbers, 
Uh, she can deal that with that herself. She can go to a pharmacy and get a test strip for her blood or her urine for a buck fifty each. Okay, and so this is not difficult. And so all of this stuff is nutritional deficiencies. The gray hair, the white hair, has nothing to do with age. It's actually due to the same thing that's causing osteoporosis and arthritis, and um, she may have some other issues that have to do with. And we don't know about varicose veins and spider veins and hemorrhoids and stuff like that. But anyway, this will all take care of that. So she needs to give us a call uh, with, a, with a report of where she's at every couple of weeks. After she starts this, she, she can start the diet today. Uh, depending where she lives, uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to get to her. She didn't say where she lived? Uh, no. Okay. So but I'm going yeah. to guess because of the information I got, I'm going to guess that she is not in the United States. Okay. So she could be in one of the islands or something like that or Cuba yeah. or... Mexico or Canada or who, who knows. Okay. So anyway, uh, yeah. So it might take a week for her to get the supplements, but she can get on the diet immediately. Oh, I have a six month supply of spaghetti. Well, box it up and give it to your doctor with love. Just like, you know, the 007 movie to Russia with love. You want to give all your uh, gluten, uh, flour, tortillas, spaghetti, bread, beer, all that stuff. Give it to your doctor with love. If you become an associate, you can deduct it off your taxes as a tax deduction, regardless of what country you're in, okay? <laughs> but keep us up to date because everything you've got here is a nutritional deficiency secondary to a gluten issue. All right, awesome. Thank you, Dr. Wallach. And again, everybody, thank you for being here with us with Ask Doc Live. I love the fact that Dr. Wallach takes his time out of his busy schedule to be a resource to you. Um, Again, any of the products that you hear mentioned in this program and all of Dr. Well, his most popular publications, you can find on our website at askdoclive.com. They are there for you, for your convenience. Next, let's go to a comment that I have here, Dr. Wallach. Okay. And this is in regards to, or for um, Gianna, 45 years old, 470 pounds. She has lost three, 34 pounds. She is gluten-free, five foot, six inches tall. It's having extremely erratic periods that are lasting for weeks, extremely heavy and passing lots of heavy clots to the point where it's even waking her up at night. What would you recommend, Dr. Wallach? She didn't say anything about high blood pressure, diabetes, or arthritis, or anything like that? Um, no, actually, she does not have any of those. I've spoken with her. Okay. All right. Well, let me see. It's 470 pounds, so she weighed 500 pounds at some time. I deal with a lot of people every year who weigh more than 400 pounds. Um, I've actually dealt with people who are 550 pounds and so forth, but she will lose a half a pound to two pounds a day. Again, I want her to start out with one meal a day. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be the same meal every day with our keto caramel bar. And after a month, I want her to go to two meals a day, uh, three days of the week. The other four days of the week, I want her to stick with one meal a day, but three days a week, I want her to go to two meals after the first month, okay, uh, for our keto caramel meals. Then I want her to live like an Asian. Um, I want her no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, no butter, no oats, no sugar, no carbonated drinks, even the diet ones. And I want her to... Um, eat rice and maize and sweet potatoes. Uh, she can have not, not fried rice uh, for breakfast every morning. I either have baked sweet potatoes with butter or I'll have wild rice uh, with our um, pink Himalayan salt um, and butter, okay, uh, well, along with the rest of my breakfast. And she can have uh, smoked salmon for breakfast. Uh, she can have, um, you know, no processed meat. So there's no bacon, no ham, none of that kind of stuff. No sausage, no pepperoni. Um, she could have like 25% of a gluten-free pizza uh, three or four mornings, uh, uh, okay? It has four different cheeses and six or eight different um, vegetables on there. Uh, I have a half of one, but she needs to go to a quarter of one, okay, of these gluten-free pizzas where the crust is made from cauliflower and rice flour, okay? Can't be wheat. And um, then, uh, again, she can have salads and so forth. And she needs to go to our savor division where we have the pink Himalayan salt and we have the pink Himalayan salt mixed with black brown pepper also. 
Um, this is very important for her. She needs to stay away from statin drugs. Okay, no statin drugs. I want her to eat three eggs twice a day. Uh, she can have three eggs at breakfast, three eggs at dinner time with soft yolks. Um, and she should really work on her portions. Uh, but as she's taking all these nutrients um, and she can take uh, three of our rebound drinks per day, either the cans uh, or the sticks, either one, you can mix, you can have two cans and one stick or three sticks one day because you're traveling or something like that. Don't want to take the cans with you, um, however it works. But she could have say three uh, drinks a day from our rebound. It has a hundred nutrients in it, 75 minerals, 25 vitamins and amino acids. And we do want to hear from her like every two weeks. I want to know her weight. I want to know, um, oh, one other thing because she's got the PMS stuff. Okay, I'm getting down to the bottom of the list here. Uh, when she, because she has the PMS stuff, I want her to have two bottles a month of our Xerofem. Okay, Xerofem. I want her to take three of those twice a day or two, three times a day, whatever's best for her. But I want her to have six of those tablets of Xerofem. And they will help her um, along with the eggs because 95% of estrogen and progesterone is cholesterol. You can't be taking statin drugs and avoiding uh, cholesterol and expect to have normal cycles for males and females, okay? So there we go. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Wallach. Next, let's go to Tammy who has her hand up. Tammy, go ahead and unmute yourself. Good morning, Dr. Wallach. Thank well, good you morning, Tammy. Um, you, had a song, I, you had a song written about you. It, that actually is where my name came from. I tell you how old I am. <laughs> um, so uh, I actually have a ton of questions, but I'm going to try to limit it. Um, so one question is about like the different formulas. Um, so is there much of a difference between like the BTT powder versus like the healthy body toddy? Is that, are they pretty much, if you're taking one or the other, is there a big difference in the two? Well, um, there is, there is a difference. Uh, for instance, there's a BTT 2.1 and a BTT 2.0. There's a difference between them. There's a BTT 2.5. There's a difference. Okay. That's why they have a different number. Okay. Or a different title. If they were all the same, we wouldn't have different names for them, right? So you have to read the labels. And um, remember, we deal with over um, 600 different diseases. We have 5,000 products. We have 5,000 different products to deal in different combinations with these 600 different diseases. And that's why people need to get a hold of this book. If you're dealing with a lot of people, if you're an associate, you're dealing with 30, 40 people or more, or 10 people or three people, that have health issues, you really need those books. You can go to them and say, okay, here's this disease. You look it up and it says, this is what they need. And so you look and after a while, after a few months, you know what's in where and uh, so forth. But you can show them in the book and you can show them the references. That this is what you need. This is why you have your problems. But the, the, usually the basic root cause of all their nutritional deficiencies is two things. Number one, they're eating gluten. And number two, they're not supplementing. So what you suggest, so I'm guessing you're talking about the Let's Play Doctor book and the list of the different um, nutrients for That's correct. uses in there. So your thought is if you're talking to someone and they, you know, look up XYZ disease and then you look on the labels of BTT, mm -hmm. the different labels mm -hmm. and the healthy body toddy and make sure that the the illness that they're fighting has the maximum amount of that particular nutrient. Is that kind that's of correct. Your... Yeah, okay. that's correct. And we, okay. we also have, we also have what we call secret sauces. We have specific, for instance, for diabetes, we have the healthy blood right. sugar pack. We also right. have you can you can buy the sweeties by themselves. Right. And so you know, a big person uh, like we just spoke to for you know about uh, 450 pounds. Um, if she has diabetes, um, if of of, of uh, 450 pounds, uh, she would need, or 470 pounds, whatever it was, I scratched it all out here, so I, I can't uh, read it, but uh, she was over 400 pounds, um, so she would need uh, enough program to deal with all that, okay? She can't take what a 200-pound person is going to take. Right, right. Okay, and so this is, um, sometimes it comes down to a money issue, okay? Right. Uh, for, for a couple of months, I'll go with two. I really need four, but I'll go with two because, you know, I, I can't afford more than that. So it's, it's better to start someplace. But if you get rid of the bad stuff, that helps a lot because you can maximize the absorption. Okay. 
On, on the ultimate classic tabs, I've heard you um, recommend those to a couple of people. What's kind of the key or what, what is the, I know they don't, so I think those have the, all the vitamins and they don't okay. have the minerals. If I recall. No, 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 no. You're talking about the, okay. Are you talking about the ultimate daily or the ultimate daily classic? I think I've heard you recommend the Ultimate Classic tablets. Uh, okay, maybe okay. I wrote it down yeah. wrong. Okay. Okay. It's, uh, yeah, it's the Ultimate Dailies. Okay. Ultimate Daily. Uh, okay. Ultimate Dailies. Um, I think I've got some here behind me. Let's see here a second. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's the Ultimate Dailies. Okay. Okay. And the Ultimate Dailies. Okay, this okay. was one of our original, okay, okay one of our okay. original big, big multiples. Okay. okay, it's probably one of the most complete multiples on the market. You know, you okay. get something like Centrum, it only has 25 nutrients in it. Right, okay. right. Okay, this has 50. Okay, right. and then you throw in the uh, EFAs, because you can't put oils, you know, you can't put the essential fatty right. acids in here. Right. So you need the EFAs, also something like the... Um, uh, strawberry kiwi minerals, which don't have as much sugar in them as the uh, cherry mints. Okay. And so they need those minerals. Uh, so you always want to get, you know, some sort of source of those liquid minerals, as well as something like this. Okay. I understand if somebody's homeless or living on a bridge and they're eating dog food, you know, they're going to have to be selective. But at the very minimum, uh, you would take this and the EFAs. It would be I mean a minute. And when you're talking about um, the healthy, I think healthy heart, um, healthy brain and heart pack. So that includes like the BTT product, right? Is that what you're, or are you talking? No, just, no. Okay. Okay. So that's just the, the brain and heart product. So you, so when you, when you're recommending the, you have to say two um, of the healthy brain and heart, and then you have. Them okay. Okay. Stop. Not, stop. Okay. The health, okay. The healthy brain, healthy brain and heart pack contains the BTT 2.0, okay, okay. okay, which is more complete than this. Okay, okay. So you're wanting them to take that complete thing, health of brain, the BTT, the healthy brain and heart, the omegas, plus these additional uh, if, if, if it's, in the well, okay. Well, it depends, you know, on what problems they have. Well, I mean, the ones that you've been talking about this morning, because I've been kind yeah. of writing mm -hmm. notes and I'm not familiar yeah, okay, enough good. to know for sure. Yeah. Um, and then we, have, other, we, have, we have, wait a minute, we have 5,000 products. Yeah, and we have, yeah, we have five thousand. We have, have five thousand <laughs> different products, and the reason is, you know, one size can't fit all right. for six hundred different diseases. Right. Okay, and this is where the medical system gets it wrong. They want you to believe, oh, just get get some centrum. You know, well, they only have twenty seven nutrients in there. I think six of which are minerals. Yeah. They only have they only have ten percent of the minerals, and they don't even have thirty percent of the total number of the ninety. You know, there's twenty seven uh, out of ninety. Um, so one other clarification of some of the recommendations you've given to people uh, for losing weight. You, you've said eat one meal a day, and I didn't get all the details. I'll go back. Okay, no, mean, no, 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 stop. Did I, I didn't see one. Yes, you did. Okay. Okay, you need to listen. Okay. I said, okay, a week has seven days. I said uh -huh. one meal, one meal a week. Oh, oh okay. okay. One meal each day. One meal each day per week, one meal each day, you take a keto caramel bar. After a month, I want you to go to two days a week, two meals. The other five days, you stay on one meal, the keto caramel bar. Do okay, you understand so you, that? Okay, so you're adding the keto caramel bar. You're not replacing a meal with the keto caramel bar. Is that or I am. Oh, yes, no, you're replacing. no, so you're no. Replacing. You're replacing a meal, the okay. keto caramel bar, one meal, seven days a week for the first month. Okay. After the first month, you're going to go to two or three meals a week. So you're going to replace okay. two meals a day for two or three days. The other uh, four or five days, you're going to stay with one meal a day, the keto meal. Okay. And the okay. other meals you want to eat like an Asian, not like a European. Right. I got that okay. part. Okay. Okay, okay. good. That, that's it. I'll let you go. Thank you. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah. Lingo means everything, but thank you for clarifying that. So yeah. you, you may not be the only one that had that confusion. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you, Tammy. And I do want to point out that the Ultimate Daily and the Ultimate Daily Classic are not the same product. <laughs> okay. No. 
go ahead yep. and share with us the the amazing benefits of the ultimate daily classic and why that's the one that you recommend more often for so many different diseases okay here is the ultimate dailies which is a kind of a simple multiple i shouldn't say simple but it's just a multiple here's the ultimate daily classic okay the ultimate daily classic um, is particularly for high blood pressure and bl plugged arteries, whether it's in the brain, the heart, the kidneys. So you hear me talk about this one for kidney disease. You hear me talk about this one for blocked coronary arteries. You hear this about people who have vascular dementia or they may have strokes and all that kind of stuff because this deals with high blood pressure and also deals with blocked arteries, okay? And this one is sort of a basic multiple. If somebody is really, really poor and they're living under the bridge and eating dog food, this and the EFAs is what they'd want to take because that's our cheapest way to get, you know, the 90 essential nutrients. All right. So, these are different, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. See, yeah. I, make, I make up about um, uh, 50 bottles uh, uh, at a time. I just line them up and da -da -da -da. I do that, and when I get down to the last 10 uh, bottles, I remake another 50, and that way I don't have, oh God, I don't have time to deal with all this. I never run into that problem because I'm pre-making them so that I just snatch up a couple of bottles and take with me because I don't know if I'm going to be gone all day or if I'm going to miss a meal or something like that. I take them with me because I never miss. In 74 years, I have never missed. That's, that's dedication. And that's being intentional, folks. And that's what we need to do. We need to be intentional in what we're putting in our bodies, what we're using to, to build ourselves, protect ourselves from so many different things that are going on around us. Whether it's well, Rebecca, environmental employment. When, yes. When they pay attention to that, they can gain 76 years in longevity. They can gain an extra 76 years and be a super, super centenarian and spend 76 more years with their loved ones, including their pets, okay? Yes. Uh, okay, and so, but uh, this is something that requires some thinking. This is something that requires some, as, as I like that word you use, intention. Um, just like you check your oil in your car, you check the air in your tires, and all that kind of stuff. You check your air filter, see if it's full of dirt and dust and grime and so forth. You check on, in the fall, you'll check the amount of antifreeze in your car. Mm -hmm. You don't just wash your car. You don't just wax your car. You do all this other maintenance stuff and your eyes always on that red warning light, see if it comes on on the dashboard of your car. Well, you have red warning lights, pain, irregular heartbeat, numbness, um, um, twitching and things like that, a diarrhea, constipation, eczema, asthma, all those things are red warning lights. They're not something you take prednisone for to get rid of the symptoms. They're a red warning light for some deeper life-threatening issue that's gonna kill you tonight, tomorrow, or a month from now, or six years from now, it's gonna kill you. And so you gotta pay attention to those red warning lights and react appropriately, okay? And just, just changing, well, I know that if I just eat wheat three days a week, I don't have the symptoms. Well, you know, uh, you'll just add maybe uh, two or three more years to your life. Instead of dying at age 60, you'll die at age 62 or three. <laughs> right. Yeah. So there's, there's a lot of things that we can, we can be intentional on. And, you know, we, folks, you're worth it. You have more value. And so many people don't realize they put others before them because they want to take care of others. Well, what about yourself? Who's going to take care of them when you're not here? Oh, that's very well put. Very well put. So really take serious the intention that you put into the care of your own body. Because yeah, you set the example. Yeah, you set the example. Why should I listen exactly. to you? You're sick all the time. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, let's go to our, um, RS has a question in the comments says my mother is 75 years old, five foot seven, 185 pounds. She's taken biotin and vitamin A, but her fingernails are still breaking. Advice, please. 
Okay, so see here. Did she say her hair analysis is what? No, hair so analysis. She's 75 years old, uh -huh. five foot seven, 185 pounds. Mm -hmm. She's taken biotin and vitamin A, and her fingernails are still breaking. Oh, well, she's only 88 nutrients short. That's a few. Yeah, because she's only taking biotin and vitamin A. Okay, well, at 185 pounds, she's given all the bad foods, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no gluten, no wheat, bread, rye, no, no sugar, no carbonated drinks, even the diet ones. See, her nails breaking is a red warning light. And she might go to, you know, one of these beauticians that do nails and stuff like that, whatever they call them, who do the nails. Okay, and so that's not the answer to the question. The question your body's telling you, hey, the nails are breaking here because your tendons and ligaments, your bones, your discs are all breaking apart. The one you can see is your nails, okay? It's all made from the same stuff. Your arteries are breaking apart. Your veins are breaking apart because they all have that connective tissue in them, okay? So um, no bad foods, uh, 185 pounds. She should take two of the healthy brain and heart packs per month, two healthy brain and heart packs per month. She needs to take two bottles a month of the MSM so you can take three with each meal. It will support and promote maintenance, repair, cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, disc between the vertebrae, bone breaks, your bone itself, and fingernails, okay? And then it uh, wouldn't hurt for her also to use the rebound or sports drink instead of uh, any kind of energy drinks. Uh, we do have decaf coffees. We have full coffees. Uh, our coffee, um, you don't have to have a boring life. Our coffees, we actually fertilize with bloom and minerals. So our coffee is the only coffees on the market that has um, 78 minerals in them, okay? And um, uh, it's just a beautiful coffee. And we have the roasting uh, plant in Miami. Uh, we have the uh, plantation, we own the plantation, we control it uh, in Nicaragua. And so we control the whole operation from planting to growing, to picking, to roasting, to packaging and out to you guys. I love it, I love it. All right, next let's go to Monica who has her hand up. Monica, go ahead and unmute yourself. You are on live with Dr. Wallach. Hi, Monica. Yes, I'm doing, doctor. Um, this one is probably like either, it could be a testimony, but it's still a question. Um, I had um, woke up this morning and my nose was bleeding and my ears was bleeding, but I did check my pressure and my pressure was um, 100 and, let me see, 189 over 133. It's high. And then I took my medicine and I also took two fish oils. And then like an hour and a half, it went down to 141 over 82. Okay, With, both of them are medicine. still high. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's still high. How much do you weigh, Monica? 124. Uh, you only weigh 124? How tall are you? Five, six and a half. You only weigh 124. Yeah, I'm like um, slim. I've been slim for a while. Okay. Um, do you have any gray hair? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you have any varicose veins in your legs? No, not that I know of. No. Do you have any? Do you have any diabetes? No. Okay. Do you have any arthritis or back problems? Well, um, back problems. I've been having a little bit of back problems lately. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, and when you have bleeding, uh, this can be due to a breakdown of the connective tissue in the walls of the veins and the arteries and stuff, not, not uncommon, okay? And white hair, when you have some white hair, uh, that means that you have a particular nutritional deficiency you can wind up with a ruptured aneurysm. When you have this high blood pressure, you're, you're uh, a candidate for a ruptured aneurysm, blood clots and strokes and all this kind of stuff. And so what I want you to do, um, you got some real serious problems here. None of the bad stuff, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, no barley rye, no, no sugar, um, no ca carbonated drinks, even the diet ones. I want you to use our rebound or sports drink with hundred nutrients in it. Uh, you can either use the cans or the sticks, either one. Um, you can have two drinks a day. Uh, do not drink one after three o'clock in the afternoon because you'll be up all night. And then um, I want you to take um, two healthy brain and heart packs per month. It's a little heavy handed, but you have some potentially dangerous stuff here. So I want you to use two healthy brain and heart packs per month, full dose everything twice a day. I want you to take our MSM, three of those 
uh, twice a day. That's one bottle a month. So you can uh, support and promote maintenance, repair, cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, disc between vertebrae, bone, makes your bone itself. Um, then I also want you to um, take our Ultimate Daily Classic tablets, take three of those twice a day, it's two bottles a month. They'll support healthy blood pressure and healthy blood flow through blocked arteries. And then um, do you have any um, tinnitus or ringing in the ears or whooshing in the ears, any noise or anything like that? Not really, not really at all. Okay. How about any balance problems, any vertigo, dizziness, or the balance ba problems? The balance be off a little bit. I've, I've sometimes okay. lost the balance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you have osteoporosis of the skull, uh, squeezing the vestibular branch of the atrial nerve. Have you lost any sense of smell or taste? No, I mean, um, not really. Um, actually, um, I think I do pretty good with smelling. Okay. okay. What about, did you ever have any, uh, let's see here, uh, Bell's palsy or one side of your face droops or no, uh, none of that kind of stuff? Was yeah. anything going on in your hands and wrists and arms? Mm, just sometimes I have um, neuropathy because I have um, I have kidney disease, so it might be that reason. No, tell me what you got. I didn't hear what you said. In the I, finger, I, then that um, the nerve fingers, like, okay, like the damage, like nerve. Yeah. Damage okay. Rhythm. Okay. They they are they numb or they? Yeah, they they get like a popping feeling, like yeah. The, okay. Okay. Like circulation. Yeah, have, okay. Yeah, you have osteoporosis of the skull, and your skull is squeezing your spinal cord, so the nerves that go. Uh, to your arms and hands and fingers are being squeezed. Okay. Okay. This, uh, is, um, you remember your spinal cord is formed in your brain, comes out of the back of the skull. And so when the skull is squeezing that spinal cord, you're getting these things going on in your hands. Okay. And so um, basically, I want you to, again, get rid of all the bad foods no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no gluten, no wheat, brown, right now, no sugar. And the two healthy brain and heart packs are one bottle of MSM. Um, you need the uh, glucogel. Go ahead and take uh, three of those twice a day. That's a one bottle a month. Uh, you need the vitamin D3, three of those twice a day. And because of the blood pressure, again, I would go with the, I'd go with three bottles a month because your blood pressure is way too high. So go with three bottles a month of the ultimate uh, daily classic tablets. That's, that's these. Go ahead and take three of these with each meal. So it'll be nine a day. And as you're, don't cold turkey off your medication. But as your blood pressure begins to improve, you can go ahead and slowly reduce your medication by 10% and then go a week or two. And if it's still dropping, then drop another 10%. Don't cold turkey off your medication for your blood pressure, but you can slowly reduce it based on the numbers. But do call us because you're going to have a great story. Okay. All this is due to nutritional deficiencies secondary to gluten. And um, if you have kidney stones, that's because you have raging osteoporosis, your parathyroid glands are pulling too much uh, calcium out of your bones to try and keep your blood calcium up and that's why you have kidney stones but that no, i don't stop. have kidney stones i have kidney disease okay uh are they talking about putting you on dialysis i am on dialysis oh you didn't tell me that that's kind of major stuff yeah here. i actually are uh, this is something like separately going on that's why I okay no that. no nothing separately goes on no okay. i'm talking about as They're... of right this morning this morning okay stop stop the reason why you have such high blood pressure is because you're on dialysis, okay? And the, your kidneys are releasing a hormone called renin, and that's what's driving your blood pressure up. So I'm glad I switched you to three of the Ultimate Daily Classic tablets three times a day. That's three bottles a month of these, okay? Ultimate Daily Classic tablets. Your blood pressure has slowly come down. And I have people, are you urinating? Yes. Okay, how many days a week are you getting dialysis? Three. Okay. I take people that haven't urinated in 10 years or on dialysis six days a week, been on dialysis for 20 years because they didn't want to get a kidney transplant. And in two weeks time on the same program, I'm giving you, I gave them in two weeks time, they start urinating after 10 years of not urinating. So they dropped them from six days a week dialysis down to three. And after two more weeks, they were totally fine. And so they just totally dropped them off of dialysis after 25 years on dialysis. But that's okay because the doctor got to put his kids through college before he, she had to give up dialysis. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yes. Okay. They're using you like a dairy cow, dear. Okay. Call me every two weeks because you're going to have great news about the blood pressure. You're going to have great news. Uh, your hair color is going to come back. Okay. The nosebleeds are going to stop. And your bone marrow, your, mo your bone marrow may be in trouble. Did you ever, doctors ever tell you you have low platelets or anemic? 
low red well, blood cells. I do have low. I do have low blood. That's another thing. Um, my low. I always get in, um hemoglobin. Like every time I go to dialysis, they do give that to me. They give you. They inject you with hemoglobin. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you have osteoporosis uh, in your bones in your skull and also in your long bones where your red blood cells and platelets and all that are being farmed. And so, um, see, those are all things you needed to tell me and you didn't tell me. So anyway, now we've got it all fixed, but you're going to have a great story in two weeks time. Okay. So it's going to take you a couple of days to get our program. Where, where do you live? I live in um, New Jersey. Can I ask you one more question before I leave? Sure. Mm -hmm. As far as the iron, do I need to get extra iron on the side? No, like no, no. You're getting plenty of iron with the, all these programs, okay? You know, you're, you're going to be taking about nine different products here, and there's plenty of iron and B12 and folic acid and all that kind of stuff and all those things, all right? You're going to have plenty of that. So um, after a while, you're not going to have to have the hemoglobin injections. You're not going to have that. You're not going to have bleeding noses. And that's why you have the bleeding nose. It's not because you're, you have something going on in your sinuses. It's because your bone marrow is dead. You have dysplasia. Did they ever talk? You know, in the, in, in the future, we may have to give you a bone marrow transplant. Did they ever talk to you like that? No. Did they ever say you might need to have a transfusion? Uh, that did come up in the beginning, yes, of, mm -hmm. if, it, if possible. Yeah. yeah, okay. So, yeah, your bone marrow is dying because you can't get nutrition to it because you're eating gluten. Okay, so you need to give up the gluten and take these nutrients. Your bone marrow will come back in a couple of months and start making your white blood cells, your red blood cells, your platelets, and your, an and your antibodies, and you're going to be a new woman. You will be a new woman in 90 days, but you'll see results in two weeks, okay? So we want to hear from you every two weeks because you are going to have a great, great, great testimony. Okay, thank you so much. Thank right. you. Thank you, Monica. Thank you. Oh, we're coming close to the top of the hour, but let's try to get a, one of the comments that came into the chat from somebody new. Um, OG is a female, 44 years old, five foot six inches, 151 pounds, has hair loss, alopecia. I don't think I ever get that right. Okay, alopecia is hair loss. Alopecia uh -huh. from the front, fibroids, tingling fingers, so peppery sensations, chest pain around the heart region. Okay. So, she didn't say anything about diabetes or high blood pressure? No, nothing is mentioned there about that. Okay, she weighs 151 pounds, but she, she has osteoporosis of the skull, okay? And you say she's um, 56 years old, okay? Um, yeah, OG. 44. Uh, she, 44 oh, years old. Oh, she's five foot six and 44 years old. Okay. Correct. Correct. Okay. So now we got it. Okay. All right. So um, she needs to get rid of all the bad stuff. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, no bright iron, no sugar, no carbonated drinks, even the diet ones. Um, at 151 pounds, I want her to have two healthy brain and heart packs per month two healthy brain and heart packs a month, the full dose, everything twice a day. I want to get two bottles a month of our MSM, so you can take three of those with each meal, and they're going to support and promote maintenance repair of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, disc between the vertebrae, bone, rich bone itself. I want her to get our two bottles a month of our Zara Fem. She can take three of those twice a day. That's going to help her with the fibroids. I also want her to take our, our uh, glucogel. Uh, she can take five of those twice a day. That's uh, two bottles a month. That's going to support and promote maintenance repair again, of cartilage and ligaments and tendons and connective tissue and blood vessels and her uterus and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I want her to take the hair, skin and nails. She can take three of those twice a day. It'll help regrow her hair. And I've had people who are totally bald like a bowling ball for 40 years and in, in 90 days they regrow all her hair. So uh, she can look forward to a great, great thing here. Uh, when she has uh, stuff going on in her fingers or numbness or chest, this is due to osteoporosis of the skull squeezing the spinal cord. Um, she could have uh, AFib going on in her chest. She could have fast heart rate, tachycardia. Uh, we need a little more information about this chest awareness or pain or discomfort. Um, I want to know what her doctor says about that. Okay, it could be a back problem, a simple back problem, or it could be coronary artery issues. Okay, so we need to know a little bit more. Uh, if she does have blood vessel problems, she does need the Ultimate Daily Classic Tablets, three of those twice a day, that's two bottles a month. And uh, then call us every couple of weeks and, and give us her testimony because she's going to have a great story. 
Awesome. Thank you so much, Dr. Wallach. And thank you, everybody, for joining us on the Ask Doc Live. Whether you're here live or watching the replay um, video at another time, we want you to know that we care. The person that invited you to this program to watch this video, they care. And we want you to get back with them with any questions that you might have in regards to getting the products. They will help you get what you need specific for you because it's not one size fits all, like Dr. Wallach said. We have many products that are able to be combined so that it's a tailored protocol just for you. Now you can also go to the Ask Doc Live if you were not referred to this program or to watch this video by somebody specific. You can go to our website, askdoclive.com and you can find all of the replays from all of our programs on that website. You can also find a store there and you can find the contact us to get your questions to one of our certified holistic health coaches. Now, my name is Rebecca Kozak, and on behalf of our co-hosts, Jonti McCollier, Nasima Omar, Ruth Ellen Sanchez, and the incredible Dr. Joel Wallach, we want to wish you all the best. We want you to live with intention and make sure that your health journey takes you through the 100 mark because it's not a sprint it's a marathon everybody and this marathon can be pain-free without all of the things that are associated with getting old so have a fabulous fabulous week thank you again dr wallach for spending time with us we love you mm. <laughs> thank you so much rebecca and your whole team and all of our callers and, and emailers today is really good stuff. And uh, you can see how people get into trouble. You know, they're going to four or five different doctors. They have all these different things going on and um, they don't realize that they're all connected. And so you can add 25 to 50 healthier years to your life. You can add 76 years to your life by getting rid of the bad stuff and taking the appropriate nutrients and the appropriate amounts for your body weight. You can add 76 years to your life and be a super, super centenarian. Let's, Let's all go there it. together. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, thank you, everybody. And we will see you next Friday, same time, same place, askdoclive.com. We love you guys. Have a great one. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.